Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about trying to make your holidays a little bit um, easier. And I'm going to show you, we made that big batch of meatballs, which is, we talked earlier about um, at the beginning of the show, if you can do some things to, you know, have food on hand during the holidays, it just keeps you away from hitting those fast food restaurants. And I know holidays are a time where a lot of money's flying out the door on all sorts of stuff. So if you can save some money and um, make a big batch of meatballs like this, you can turn it into lots of different things. This is also a great recipe. Um, I love hosting, you know, uh, hors d'oeuvre parties. And when you're doing that, I think it's really important to um, make sure you've got actual ribs, some rib stick and food. And uh, I know the guys and me love to have meatballs like in a crock pot. So uh, there's so many different things that you can do with this one basic meatball recipe. Uh, one of my family's favorites, my kids love Italian food. I mean, most kids do. And, you know, pizza and pasta and all that kind of stuff. So I'll take these meatballs and if I make a big batch on, on Sunday, turn them into spaghetti and meatballs one night and then later in the week, maybe do some meatball subs. And these are just something fun that both my kiddos really, really like and they just couldn't get easier. Or if you've got these meatballs in the freezer, what you can do is pull them out on your way to work, let them thaw in the fridge or just throw them in the microwave and heat them kind of over, uh, I do them, um, you know, you don't want to over nuke them. So basically, you know, do it slow or on a lower temperature. Um, and then, you know, you can have meatballs during the week in like seconds. So I like to just, you know, take my meatballs, put them on some nice sub rolls that we picked up from the bakery at Festival. A little bit, and this is something I try and always keep on hand, some jars of marinara or even pizza sauce. down goes some sauce, shredded mozzarella cheese, into the oven just to heat the roll, warm the meatballs and melt that cheese, and dinner is ready in no time. Love to make those. Okay, here's another thing uh, that I do with meatballs, Swedish meatballs, which are just wonderful, and this is the quickest, easiest Swedish meatball recipe ever. Starting out with just jar gravy, just some beef gravy. Now I'm going to add some sour cream. And again, if you've got the frozen meatballs on hand, this is just such a quick fix. So sour cream, beef gravy, salt and pepper. You could do a little bit of dry wine in here if you wanted, like a white or a red wine. If it's a little thick, you can add a little bit of milk. And sour cream is going to really um, help give this gravy a nice flavor. It's not going to taste like it came out of the jar. A little bit of milk to thin it out. Or like I say, a dry white wine would be nice. You could saute some mushrooms in here. Now the secret ingredient to this to really make it taste fantastic, a little bit of fresh or dry dill. Then I'm gonna put in right before we're done. Boiled up some egg noodles, which again, doesn't go quicker and easier than that. Try and keep bags of egg noodles or in, you know different types of pasta in my refrigerator. This is also, or in my pantry I should say, this is also fantastic over mashed potatoes or even rice. My kids like it with noodles, so that's what we normally do it with. Oops. Getting water all over the place. Good thing it's just water. Okay. Now you take those meatballs, get them in that sauce. And talk about a quick fix. And then the, the secret ingredient, like I said, just a little bit of fresh you can just use your hands or dry dill. 
right at the very end is going to make this super duper quick easy sauce taste like a million bucks. So there you go, Swedish meatballs. I hope I've talked you into making a big batch of these, especially during the holidays when it's a busy time of the year. I promise you, you're going to be glad you did. And the recipe for the meatballs, you can find online. We'll be back. We're going to talk about gifts for the wine lover in your family, and we're making homemade holiday whoopie pies.